right hey guys welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel and happy early mother's day you guys this is just a very <laughs> candid spur of the moment like i typically do kind of video today i don't have anything written down y'all know how i do i just cut this camera on and i start talking and that's what i'm gonna do today mother's day is on sunday and i was just kind of thinking about how I've changed, how I've grown, how my mindset has changed since becoming a mom. And I wanted to know like how you've changed as well since becoming a mama. Anyone who sees this video, we are praising each other on this video today. We are giving you props, I'm giving you props. It's very hard for me to sit and brag about myself these days because it's just not me, it's just not, people may think it's me, but it's not, it's not. I don't like the attention, um, but sometimes I have to. I have to just sit there and be proud of myself and brag a little bit, and that's what I plan on doing today. And I hope you join in with me. So I had Isaiah four years ago, and in the beginning of my motherhood journey, I struggled. I had a very hard time. I went through depression for so long, and sometimes I feel like I kinda dibble and dabble still back in it which I'm sure a lot of us do and I was very vocal I'm very vocal about the struggles of motherhood because I realized when I had Isaiah that I just thought no one felt the same way I felt no one was struggling no one was having mental breakdowns no one was just wanting to run away and just forget and leave it all what society wants us to see and what society thinks that motherhood looks like you know what i mean my life was not like that it was just it was very hard it was hard on myself it was hard financially it was hard on my marriage it was just very hard in the beginning with becoming a mom because i w i just don't think i was prepared i was not prepared and that's something i don't think you'll ever be prepared um to be you just have to it just has to happen and you will learn as you go but i do think society played a huge role in how i was affected and what my kind you know like what my expectations were you know what i mean i hope that makes sense i went through postpartum depression for about a year that was something that really wasn't talked about but I talked about it a long time ago on my channel with all this being said because you know I can laugh the one thing I think that has really changed me since becoming Isaiah's mom and being blessed with him is the fact that I'm so much more confident now I'm confident I am stronger and I believe in myself no matter what let me break those things down because that's a very general statement but I don't think I would be where I'm at, especially with my channel, if it wasn't for him. Having Isaiah, it, he takes me on roller coasters, y'all. I can't even gather my words. It's hard. It is hard for me and my one child. It may not be hard for you and your 10 kids. And you may look at me like I'm crazy because I only have one, but it's very difficult sometimes for me just having my one child because that's all I can handle. Having Isaiah also strengthened my relationship with God. I can't even tell you how much it has. The days that I didn't think I was strong enough, God gave me a lot of strength. Me and him's cool. Like that's, I know it's something that I should probably talk about more and I will when I'm ready but my relationship with God has grown so much stronger we've grown so much closer and that's what I needed and as far as me feeling confident I'm just I just feel a lot better it's something about a little person and them seeing that you are the most important person in their world and they see you in this light like you're amazing you know what I mean and I feel like that's how Isaiah sees me and whenever I feel like he sees me that way it like pumps me up you know what I mean it gives me a lot of strength you know it makes me feel like I can do it I can do anything um, I can keep going with this channel on days or times that I just don't want to do it because I want to make sure that I'm showing him that I'm still doing something that I want to do that I hope is helping people and I'm putting my heart into and I'm hustling you know I'm busting my butt and I want him to see that from his mama you know what I mean that's very important for me for him to see that his mama works hard I don't know just he's made me just a, a stronger person like I can take a lot 
now i'm more prepared for my future now or i'm getting prepared so i was just curious what you guys how you guys have changed has having a child strengthened your relationship with your mom i know that's something that has definitely gotten me and my mom a lot closer i call her almost every single day you know and i ask her about every single thing when it comes to motherhood because i don't have a clue I don't know what's going on you know I just she's my mom is an expert she raised four children and she just she just knows mama grandmama's knows and my mama knows so has that helped you has it brought you closer to your mother or your family or your grandma or whoever raised you I remember a comment a long time ago and I didn't touch on it but I should have the one thing I had to realize is that I was I had it in my mind along you know when I first had Isaiah that I was gonna remain the same I was I how could I fit him into my life as it is right now and I think that's the biggest issue especially with young mothers um, new moms you know is that we're trying to fit the kids into our life as it is versus trying to just blossom to someone else because that's what's really gonna happen It took me a while to realize I had to leave all the other stuff behind and I'm creating like a whole new, like a whole new world. Yes, I'm quoting Aladdin at this point because I'm a whole new person. You know, you don't just carry a human for nine months, gain all this weight to stay the same. It's like you're shedding a skin. You're shedding a layer once you become a mom and you, you're not going to be prepared to fly, but you'll, you'll get the confidence eventually. That's my spiel. I hope it was real good. I hope it, I feel good about that. See, it's all about the delivery. It don't matter if what I was saying didn't make sense. It's all about the confidence. <laughs> But anyways, you guys, I'm just hoping you guys have a happy Mother's Day. I know some of you moms are teachers, you're wives, you're this, you're that, you're the carpool. Well, we carpool, we ain't going nowhere. You've been at home. The PE teacher, you've been doing a lot and wearing a lot of hats. And I just want to say, keep going. You're awesome. You're amazing. So if you made it this far, because it is Mother's Day, I'm just going to do a little giveaway. But anyways, you guys, I just wanted to come on here and just say happy Mother's Day to you. I just want you to know you're amazing. You're doing a great job even when you feel like you're not doing a good job, even when you feel like you don't know what you're doing. Every day is a new day to have a better day and to start over. So happy Mother's Day to you. Please, please leave your comments down below. Let's talk. Let me send you some good positive vibes because I would love to this Mother's Day. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.